Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Tsuki and this is Mass Effect. I remember when I came on the Presidium, well, when I came to the Citadel, this isn't the Presidium I think. Um, the first time I was like, whoa, this is so freaking cool. It reminded me a lot of, uh, what's the, the game with M Master Chief? Halo. Yeah, it rem reminded me of Halo a lot. Because it looks like a ring, right? Anyway, we have some codexy things to listen to. So, roughly 1200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157, which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Didn't we already Officially, listen to this? However, the two species are out. The Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor and war. When the Geth showed signs of self-evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate them. The Geth won the resulting war. This example has led to legal, systematic repression of artificial intelligences in galactic society. The Geth possess a unique distributed intelligence. An individual has rudimentary animal instincts, but as their numbers and proximity increase, the apparent intelligence of each individual improves. In groups, they can reason, analyze situations, and use tactics, as well as any organic race. Geth space is located at the trailing end of the Perseus arm, beyond the lawless Terminus systems. The Perseus Veil, an obscuring dark nebula of opaque gas and dust, lies between their space and the Terminus system. After the Geth secure a location, they round up and impale dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. The spikes rapidly transform these victims into withered husks, extracting water and trace minerals, and replacing them with cybernetics. The cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Some Alliance soldiers refer to the husk-generating spikes as dragon's teeth, a reference to the mythological berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of the dragon Eris were planted. Dragon's teeth and husks bear little resemblance to other pieces of Geth technology. No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the minuscule amount of recoverable resources from organic corpses, though the value of reusing them as shock troops is obvious. The Citadel is an ancient deep space station, presumably constructed by the Protheans. Since the Prothean extinction, numerous species have come to call the Citadel home. It serves as the political, cultural, and financial capital of the galactic community. To represent their interests, most species maintain embassies on the Presidium, the Citadel's inner ring. The Citadel Tower in the center of the Presidium holds the Citadel Council Chambers. Council affairs often have far-reaching effects on the rest of the galactic community. Five arms, known as the Wards, extend from the Presidium. Their inner surfaces have been built into cities, populated by millions of inhabitants from across the galaxy. The Citadel is virtually indestructible. If attacked, the station can close its arms to form a solid, impregnable shell. For as long as the station has existed, an enigmatic race called the Keepers has maintained it. The Council is an executive committee composed of representatives from the Asari Republics, the Turian Hierarchy, and the Salarian Union. Though they have no official power over the independent governments of other species, the Council's decisions carry great weight throughout the galaxy. No single Council race is strong enough to defy the other two, 
and all have a vested interest in compromise and cooperation. Each of the council species has general characteristics associated with the various aspects of governing the galaxy. The Asari are typically seen as diplomats and mediators. The Salarians gather intelligence and information. The Turians provide the bulk of the military and peacekeeping forces. Any species granted an embassy on the Citadel is considered an associate member, bound by the accords of the Citadel conventions. Associate members may bring issues to the attention of the Council, though they have no input on the decision. The Human Systems Alliance became an associate member of the Citadel in 2165. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. All get the job done one way or another, often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. For many years, they operated in secrecy, as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a specter is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the council is concerned about a situation. Biotics is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate dark energy and create mass effect fields through the use of electrical impulses from the brain. Intense training and surgically implanted amplifiers are necessary for a biotic to produce mass effect fields powerful enough for practical use. The relative strength of biotic abilities varies greatly among species and with each individual. There are three branches of biotics. Telekinesis uses mass lowering fields to levitate or impel objects. Mass raising kinetic fields are used to block or pin objects. Spatial distortion uses rapidly shifting mass fields to shred objects. There's Most no spatial? organic species are capable of developing biotic abilities, though there are risks involved. Biotics are the result of an in utero exposure to element zero. This usually causes fatal cancers in the victim, but in rare cases, it coalesces into nodules within the fetus's developing nervous system. Hmm. Combat hard suits use a dual layer system to protect the wearer. The inner layer consists of fabric armor with kinetic padding. Areas that don't need to be flexible, such as the chest or shins, are reinforced with sheets of lightweight ablative ceramic. The outer layer consists of automatically generated kinetic barriers. Objects traveling above a certain speed will trigger the barrier's reflex system and be deflected, provided there is enough energy left in the shield's power cell. Armored hard suits are sealable to protect the wearer from extremes of temperature and atmosphere. Standard equipment includes an onboard mini frame and a communications, navigation, and sensing suite. The mini frame is designed to accept and display data from a weapon's smart targeting system to make it easier to locate and eliminate enemies. Kinetic barriers, more commonly called shields, provide protection against most mass accelerator weapons. Whether on a starship or a soldier's suit of armor, the basic principle remains the same. Kinetic barriers are repulsive mass effect fields projected from tiny emitters. These shields safely deflect small objects traveling at rapid velocities. This affords protection from bullets and other dangerous projectiles, but still allows the user to sit down without knocking away their chair. The shielding afforded by kinetic barriers does not protect against extremes of temperature, toxins, or radiation. Medigel is a common medicinal salve used by paramedics, EMTs, and military personnel. It combines several useful applications, a local anesthetic, disinfectant, and clotting agent all in one. Once applied, the gel is designed to grip tight to flesh until subjected to a frequency of ultrasound. It is sealable against liquids, most notably blood, as well as contaminants and gases. The gel is a genetically engineered bioplasm created by the CERTA Foundation, a medical technology megacorp based on Earth. 
Hmm. Technically, Metagel violates council laws against genetic engineering, but to date, it has proved far too useful to ban. Huh. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Bunch of extra information, statistics, and stuff that aren't all too useful. Paddock amps. Mm hmm. Okay, so with that out of the way, didn't I get like uh, H C I? This is just now mm, squad. Oh, I did get some points to spend. So intimidate, assault training, yes, tactical armor. Good. Um. All uh, right. Uh, I can't get anything weirder with you, right? You just use assault rifles. Heavy armor, oh yeah. I'm not gonna be using you a lot. What does electronics give you? Increases the strength of your shields, increases the amount of hull restored when you repair the vehicle. Let's use electronic skill to repair bypass objects, grants the overload ability. Mm, I mean, sure, whatever. Okay, so um, I'm going to try and ignore most of the people until I get to the the consort, just because I'm not sure I can mess up that specific little side quest, and I'd rather not. Alliance Patrol report: Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? I do believe that unlocks a small little side quest. Because I'm, I'm ignoring that room over there, because I think that's the specific room that I don't want to be in right now. No. Mm. Just want to cross the bridge. No rapid travel necessary. Thank you. Like the point of this little thing that you see in front of you, this is to cut off this side with that side. This is just like an elaborate like game development trick that hides like loading triggers. If you pass over here now, it's basically going to unload most of the things on that side so that the game can run smoother. Trixie. Like you can't see the hologram anymore and the lady behind the Isn't it illegal to mess with them? But yeah, you can now kind of see like the lady that was behind the uh, counter is also gone. Keepers. This is oh, rapid transit. Anyway, hello. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Mm, sure. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. <laughs> what do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch, 
my fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. Hm. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Hmm. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. Hmm. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Of course. Melina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. She's dressed exactly the same as the Acolyte? Why is she special? Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just Was that a wink? Stairs. She'll be waiting for you. Egregious booty shot. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Excuse me, that's racist. Sure is peaceful here. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Well, mm, okay. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. <laughs> Hmm. Yes, hello. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private. That's uh, who honest. the hell cares? Hmm. Um suspiciously big and empty room. Is this a bed? What do you do in here? That is close enough, Commander. Oh. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Get to the point. I have a friend, Septimus. A retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe uh, he don't will listen me? to you and let the matter be. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you uh, can convince excuse me? him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Uh, personal space, please? Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. How are they going to get out? Just how? How are they going to get... Oh, okay then. Spontaneous reappearance. Teleportation. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. Well... Depends on how big you are. <laughs> yes, you know what I mean. Goodbye, you freaking weirdo. Okay, so Korra's den. I don't even remember where the hell that is. Um, Presidium locations. Uh, Citadel Tower, maybe? Actually, no. This isn't where I wanted to come. Go back. Jesus, that elevator was fast. Oh, I remember this. You want to ride elevators a lot. Because a lot of the conversation takes place in elevators. <laughs> this game used elevators for loading zones as well, obviously. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. For those reasons. 
So like I spent hours and hours riding the the seasick lift up and down with like various combinations of the teammates to see what they would say. What is this music? Okay, so my bad. Hello, keeper. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Let's keep her. Please do not disturb the keepers. Please don't tell me what to Please do. Do not disturb the keepers. Please do not tell me what to do. So where would Cora's den be? Embassy lounge probably not there. Excuse me. Stop that, please. Arena, concert chambers, emporium. To wards. Let's go check. It's probably somewhere in the wards. Presidium locations. Embassies, concert chamber, citadel tower. Hmm, okay. Uh, oh, there you go, Cora's Den. Another elevator. Oh, bleh. Okay, fine. I don't want to speak to anybody else right now. So after we had this discussion, I guess we can come back and do anything else. Isn't he just like an awkward third wheel? Yes, yes. Allow me, to be your guide. Allow me to tell you to shut up. Um, there's no fast travel points right now, right? I kind of missed that one. Because mm. the elevator the trip is just annoying. <laughs> uh, okay, well. Here we go again. attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. And the bad part is I can't just edit this out because there's useful things being said. Uh, welcome to Gar oh, Garrus. Hey, good looking. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the Council waiting. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Funny robes. Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Volus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. But the Volus? No. The Hanna are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right. Though the Hanar need to lighten up a bit first. <laughs> you just don't like. 
them because you have trouble understanding them. I bet all these staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. Hmm. I guess you are very true. Or you are very true. You are very right. Hello. Rear Admiral Kohoku. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Council's assistants. Commander. Okay. Yeah, this would make... Yeah, not bad, huh? The hearing's already started. Come on. Nope. Freaking sorry. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. We have the witnesses. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Why is he so blown up and big? This meeting is adjourned. Oh, don't cry, you pathetic mongrel. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. Just put a bullet between his what eyes. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. 
but I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. Absolutely. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Sometimes a thousand people must but die. But only if there's no other way. <laughs> Saren doesn't even look for another uh. option. Go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. I wanted to investigate, actually. This game aged well. <laughs> so, this is where the council passes judgment on all its little folk, huh? Ever get the feeling we're in over huh? You sure have to climb a lot of stairs to reach the council. I think that's supposed to be symbolic of their importance. <laughs> Okay, uh, wards locations. Let us head over to Koros Den. Okay. So. Lower markets. Oh, yeah, I want to check out the markets. I'm facing this way. To the upper wards, and this is just the lower markets. Let's check if there's anything interesting down here. Yes, I just want to have a. Hello. Let me see if I can get my guys equipped. I can't use those, so... All of these are... Yes. And then a pistol. Those are fine. Don't care. And don't care. I also don't care what the hell you two get, so... Hmm. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. I like his eyes. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Um, view standard items. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Raptor 6. Oh, uh, Medigel upgrade, sure. Uh, Elana's risk control license for the Normandy Quartermaster. It's good to have those so you can buy the stuff on the ship itself. Do I have anything to sell? Sell all the like tier 1 stuff. What does this even get me? Like 27 credits. That's amazing. I'll keep all the tier 2 stuff for now. Okay. Uh, Alright. Cool. What's next? Hello. Can I do something? No. Nope. How about anybody else? You? No? Too many lights, too much noise. Too much of a little wuss. Okay, fine. Nothing else here. Okay, so right. what? What do you mean that's her? Give me a shotgun while I just give this guy a little push. You need to crouch. Get over there. Oh, this guy's still standing, huh? Why don't I have a shotgun out? Ashley's down. Really? That's hilarious. You're laying on the ground. What are you talking about? Don't look, kids. Okay, so we're looking for. Excuse me. Back off, Rex. Biz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. I like Rex a lot. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. 
yes. Commander. What do you want? <laughs> What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septima Soraka, general of the Turian fleet. Some general? What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. <laughs> All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, General. Enemies? The one place I always felt at peace was with her. But now, so you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Hmm. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... I was disparaging his ancestors and... shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well... Here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. I'm already Commander, thank you. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, let's run down the table. Jeez. Hello. Freaking sorry again. Nah. Uh, Jenna? Okay. Who am I talking to? Oh, Harkin. Hey there, sweetheart. Uh, excuse me? Fun? I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. <laughs> Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. <laughs> trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, Princess. Call me Princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? <laughs> you must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard's still trying to bring Saren down. I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something. First, did the captain let you in on his big secret? Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Oh. You didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? Executors suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Yes, I can. Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. You get off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for CSEC isn't like being a Marine. 
People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to take this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers get it easy. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Well, okay. Mm, where's the door? One dancer. Man, Why this place must be. Anderson tell us he used to be a specter. <laughs> Maybe it's not true. Parkin's an ass. But he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still, I'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. It also doesn't matter. Excuse me? Ashley? Are you okay? It's freaky that this is like a road. Like if you stand here long enough, there's actually like cars that come by here. Um. Yes, Presidium location to the embassies, please. I just want to finish this little side quest because it's uh, kind of important. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be no. your guide. The whole loading things and the doors like acting as loading screens and all that. It gets better. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? It was a Turian named Septimus who found out your secret. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Dan, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <gasps> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus. 
when I'm not being interrupted. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Oh, boo -hoo. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Uh, no. So I'm quickly going to run over and just tell the consort. Yes, of course. Mm, Presidium locations to the consort chambers, please. Yes. I'm going to go in. Just quickly. It was a long time oh, there's someone else here now. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. I'm glad I could help. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin. Tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else. But it protects you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Hmm. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Okay, so I do believe the thing that she gave me is why I did this in a very specific order as I did. That thing, um, I never really found a reason for having it. But I might have an idea what to do with it now. Anyway, um, I'm quickly going to just... Okay. Uh, level up a bit and uh, oops and then I guess it'll be time tactical armor um I do use uh, let's get up to yeah one here don't need there so one here um assault training is weapon damage and melee damage why do I care about melee damage Damage reduction and hardening. Let's actually. This is. Power to protection. Yeah. Let's get throw and warp up. So we can get lift and barrier later. Okay. Um, assault rifles, assault training. Sure. And you get. 
Two and throw, huh? I'd rather first aid and some more decryption. Okay. So, um, with that out of the way, guys, I appreciate a like and a comment. I hope you are liking Mass Effect so far. I am certainly loving it. Um, if the sound is too quiet, because I did check in post that the sound is often a little bit, a little bit quiet. If it is, just let me know. I can certainly crank it up a little bit more. Hope you're enjoying 60 FPS, and I hope that you enjoy me paying extra attention to the lore and stuff. Um, in the next episode, we will comb through the area slightly more with a finer little comb and uh, talk to more people and find out more stuff. Um, nice and easy. Slow game. Uh, I enjoy it. Mass Effect is something to be savored. So yeah, I appreciate a like and a comment. Uh, I would appreciate it more though, obviously, if you would uh, tap that sub button. If you enjoy my content, I have lots of other stuff on my channel. Obviously, if you don't like my comment, feel free to toss a dislike. But I would appreciate it if you would leave some constructive criticism for me down below on how I could improve. Otherwise, thank you for hanging out, and I will see all of you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.